Well, it seems we lost a video on the first two wraps that I did. So this is the last wrap. What we're going to be doing is wrapping the butt cord on top of an alulu hole. I use this wax cord, the black wax cord, which is actually good for the water, salt water, and uh, really durable, lasts much longer. So this is the last part of the wrap. So hopefully I can get some good video. Always good to use a brand new razor blade. Very sharp, it's gonna help you out in the end. Gonna take the cord, cut off a piece, about yay long, fold it in half to make a loop. That loop you're gonna to use to put the string through and pull it back through at the end of the uh, wrap. Fold it in half, and I'll show you how that works later. Take the cord, always start at the bottom of the reel seat, so that way your knot shows up on the bottom, you're not gonna see it. It's actually better for cosmetics, so when the pole is up, the design looks really nice. Start up on the bottom, you're gonna wrap it over, and then take this cord and come over. What that does is actually lock the thread in. Okay, keep it tight. Now that it's locked in, I'm gonna go about three times, two, and maybe about four times. Now I'm at the, back at the top, take the razor blade, cut off the excess. So basically that just locked off the thread and now I'm ready to wrap. Getting close to the end, we'll run out of thread here. Try this, pull out some more. Sometimes you gotta use your mouth because you only have two hands. So start back from the bottom, close to the end, so that's about five wraps. I'm gonna take that loop while it's in half, put it together, put your finger halfway through. Pull it up from the bottom of the reel seat. Always make the loop in the direction that the thread is going because you're going to pull it back. So now, one time, two times, three times, four times, five times. Actually, I went a little bit over the paint, so that's kind of good. But I want it tight, so tighten it back up and go one more time, six times. Back at the top, which is actually the bottom of the real seat. Put your finger on it, cut off your excess, pull your loop up, you're gonna see the hole. Poke your thread through the hole. Oops, got away from me there. And pull it tight. Now once you pull it tight, you're gonna need to pull that thread back through. Just gonna lock it up underneath. all together now you're done your knots are both on the bottom of the reel seat take your razor blade and go straight down the middle hold your thread straight down the middle cut it off and there you are it's all complete now you're ready to tape off and start your chevron normally the chevron is about six to eight inches so I use a small tape measure that I've used before and then I mark my little dots, which you do mark them on the back of the real seat. And that'll start you off and then you can start wrapping your chevron. That's all.